Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So today I want to talk about more about nutrition, uh, mainly low carbs. Um, but before we dive in, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm always talking about diet, salt, fat, sugar, um, society, and conditioned taste buds. But low carb diets have been really the rage. Uh, they've been extremely popular. Uh, these types of diets, though, they vary in just how low carbohydrate intake should be. So, um, they're, they're developed under similar principles. The main one being that carbohydrates are to blame for weight gain or obesity. That is true. Advocates of this diet uh, they claim that they are more effective for losing weight and improving diabetes and heart disease uh, than balanced weight loss diets. So, however, let me tell you, studies uh, that they have done in the past comparing low carb and balanced weight loss programs, consuming the same number of calories found that participants in both groups lost a similar amount of weight over a three to six month period um, and over one to three years of follow-up. You know what that means? I mean, it's, it's simple. Research suggests that this indicates this weight loss is a result of a reduction in total calorie intakes rather than any manipulation of a macronutrient composition. Um, it's just calories in, calories out, thermodynamic. I totally believe that. In order to lose weight, um, a calorie deficit must be created. An individual must burn more calories than they take in. So, um, in turn, um, you know, maintenance, maintaining weight, a person must burn as many calories as are consumed. Okay, who wants to who wants to, to gain weight? More calories must be consumed than are burned. Okay, did I say that right? I think all that came out right. Okay, calories in, calories out. You know, an over oversimplified explanation of a complex issue. However, this simple statement holds truth. It holds a lot of truth, um, and just summarizes the fact that maintaining weight is really an issue of balance. So, you know, whether an individual follows a low carb diet, a balanced diet, or any of the other plans available, it's important not to choose a plan that is hard to follow uh, long term or that offers unrealistic outcomes. So, be very careful not to fall for the gimmicks because let me tell you <laughs> they're a dime a dozen there are a ton of gimmicks out there so um, so the bottom line if you're wanting to lose weight try lowering your carbohydrates so um, and carbohydrates are have more nine grams nine calories per one gram over protein and fat so um, you know, try it. I have a few friends who've been super successful with this type of eating. So, um, how many carbs should you be eating a day? Let's talk about that. Well, the Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommends that carbohydrates make up 45 to 65% of your total calories. Okay, write it down. Write it down. Your carbs make up for 45 to 65% of your total calories. So if you get 2,000 calories a day, between 900 and 1,300 calories should be coming from carbs. That translates between 225 and 325 of grams of carbohydrates a day. And I never would recommend going zero carbs. You need carbs, just not so many. So, but again, study. You gotta do your homework and, and, and cut back if you need to. So anyway, Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, tap that like button and share the love. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.